Hello everyone welcome to Wild Yatra today we are going to take an exciting safari trip into Bandipur Tiger Reserve we are just going through the road which leads to Ooty we wanted to enter inside the park but even before that on the road alongside the road we see hundreds of spotted deer spotted deer thrive here sometimes people see 500000 deer just sitting and then grazing on the green pastures of this land while like thrive here and these spotted deer are habituated to tourists so that's why they're not that shy normally in other places they don't come that close to human habitat this is very good sign today and we are just entering into the jungle there's a thick vegetation there it's a dense forest i have along with me saurav ji and uh, on the left i have lokesh who are very popular wildlife photographers my friends my gang who we normally go to trips every year and this path only one jeep can go so our driver is taking a reverse to give way to the other one we can also enquire with them if they have spotted some tigers on the way so a jeep is approaching here and we have oh that's also our friends we have colonel nair there yeah so they could not see any tigers but they have shown a place where we can see elephants yeah so a family of elephant a nuclear family you have one father mother and a cub the cub is taking life's lesson from uh, his father and mother and on the way we see a loner elephant a le- elephant alone is very dangerous so we are just slipping away sometimes they develop musk and then they become very wild you see the thick forest we still continue our endeavor to find a tiger water bodies are best places to find so we are going here our guide is saying that last week they have spotted four tigers here but it's of no use for us because we wanted to see four days we are roaming around here without seeing a single tiger elephants 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 and indian gaur a big family of indian gaur you see it's it has a white socks on the legs all four legs you know that's what differentiate this from bisons and there are cubs and we go and then wait in another place where there is a probability of tigers coming there just closely watch the center of the screen some movement is there isn't it yeah one tiger is approaching from there this is the mother tiger namely sundari sundari arrived she started coming towards us our jeep was the first just 10 feet away sundari is just in 10 feet distance we wanted to hide but no there are two more cubs coming following her you see from the same point where she emerged two more cubs are coming wow this is like a jackpot today we just wanted to see one tiger but there are three the cubs are growing they are they are in fact sub adult cubs and uh, they just coming and then staying there one side they have a pond where they can go and play the other side they have four gypsy jeeps safari jeeps where each of the jeeps are having four or five photographers just showing the lens towards them the mother is taking a look at the scenario so that she can decide what to do and i think she decided to get inside the water yeah she is leading the way she is going inside one cub is following the other one is little shy she is staying behind is entering into the water but the cubs are not interested she is again coming and then calling them you can see the tiger become wet there right so this is the stitching of photographs from the beginning how the tigers emerged from the bushes just see the distance between the jeep and this tiger it's it's just 5 6 feet 
and this is walking towards that water body and emerging from there. This we have shot in a 600 mm lens so that you can see this up close. And these tigers are getting inside the water. They started playing in the water. And that is the best thing which could happen. You can have very nice frames shot when the tigers are playing in the water. These are once in a lifetime opportunity to see the tigers playing and splashing water in the pond. See the fury. See the force, the sheer force of this tiger splashing the water. The mother is watching them patiently. Wow, this is a jackpot sighting. We wanted to see one tiger, we have seen three and on the water and fighting. These are play fight. The subadult cubs quite often do this so that we are preparing for territorial fight of tomorrow. And the sun is going down. You are seeing the nail grease, the blue mountain. The mountain is really in blue color. And we are going back to our resort. We are staying in a resort called Pugmark Resort, which is operated by Karnataka Tourism and Development Board, which is very nice. If you happen to go there, stay there because they also book all the safaris and other things along with us. It's a nice experience. So while going back, we are also checking whether those spotted deers are still there. Yes, the spotted deers are there, but uh, there is not enough light, so we are not seeing that very clearly. With this, this super duper bumper sighting is concluding and we will present some of the photographs which we have taken on the way. The monkeys, a spotted deers, the elephant, cub and elephant. And we have also seen some territorial fight of uh, spotted deers. This is a nice frame, you know, just having the horns of this deer. And this is a Malabar squirrel and a Brahmini kite just hovering around looking out for some prey. And we have also seen a common kingfisher. This you would have seen in your place also. Nevertheless, a beautiful little bird. And we are seeing a changeable hawk eagle. This eagle changes its color. I have seen that in Jim Corbett fully white color and here we are seeing gray color I think according to the season it changes its color now what we are seeing is Indian brown mongoose a beautiful creature which we have come across while we are searching for tigers and some more frames of uh, spotted deer this is a nice frame isn't it there is a temple, I think the Lord Ayappa temple where he is sitting on a tiger and on the backdrop you have elephants. And some more frames of elephants and on the temple there is a Panditji who is sitting and looking at the universe. And we have some more beautiful monkeys, backlit monkeys, very nice frame. And we have also seen some sloth bears crossing the road. A black and white photo of Indian gaur and a serpent eagle, one of the largest species of the eagle and a black winged kite, black shouldered kite. Some more frames of uh, Malabar squirrel and uh, elephant crossing the road and on the temple side we also had beautiful opportunities for landscape. We tried our lens over there. Some of the photographs what you are seeing, this is pygmy woodpecker. But the highlight of today's Yatra is really these tigers. Tigers emerging from the woods and then playing on the water, splashing the water. Wow, it's a dream comes true for a wildlife photographer. Even for nature lover. It's a rare opportunity one who could get such a sighting. 
ஐ வாஸ் வெயிட்டிங் ஃபார் திஸ் ஃபார் த லாஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் நவ் அன்எக்ஸ்பெக்டட்லி இன் பந்திப்பூர் ஐ ஹேட் டு விட்னஸ் திஸ் அப் க்ளோஸ் இமேஜஸ் ஆஃப் டைகர்ஸ் டைகர் கப்ஸ் அண்ட் எக்ஸ்க்ளூசிவ்லி ஃபார் யூ ப்ரெசென்டட் ஃப்ரம் வைல்டு யாத்ரா not everybody have opportunity to go to jungle and then witness this that's a very purpose of bringing this so please subscribe to this channel and share your experience share it with your friends as well that will help us to grow as a community if you are a wildlife photographer you can also partner with us in terms of sharing some of your experiences this sundari and these two cups made our day just imagine the amount of water which is getting splashed shows the size and strength of these beasts look at the muscles how they are charging towards each other this tiger picked up speed very fast maybe 0 to 60 in 1 second <laughs> uncomparable when you are considering some of the automobiles as well the amount of water which is getting splashed it just stirring up the entire pond bandipur is in karnataka the nearest airport is mysore it's very easy to travel so originally a part of project tiger of indian government one of the successful conservation project in the entire world today thanks to project tiger we have about 3500 tigers in india one of the largest populations just see how it is jumping from one place to another place hope you enjoyed this presentation this is indeed one of the best safaris which i could witness and we are to bring you some more experiences like this from various parts of the country until we see you next time have a wonderful life celebrate life conserve nature thank you